big, massive breaking news this evening from the world of boxing. His Tyson Fury against Alexander Usyk has been postponed. The fight is off. The pair will no longer fight on the 17th of Feb. That's due to a cut above Tyson Fury's eye. Let's head inside the Fury camp now and speak to head of Queensbury Promotions and Fury's promoter, Frank Warren, joins us live on Drive. Frank, hello, good evening to you. Good evening, Andy. Good evening, Andy. Good evening, Frank. Thanks, thanks so much for coming on. I'm guessing everyone wanted a piece of you, but we appreciate your time, so thank you for that, Frank. Firstly, listen, of course, commiserations. This is a massive, massive blow for, for you and everyone connected to Tyson Fury. Well, it's the biggest blow is obviously to Tyson. Um, he's worked very hard and he's been training very hard for this fight and uh, unfortunately sustained a terrible cut today. So um, it's off and uh, it's postponed. it'll be postponed and I'm sure... In due course, we'll be announcing a date for a new date for the fight. Um, just so we can get all the facts right, because of course you you see the news doing the rounds on social media, and then videos and pictures go up and so on. So it was inspiring this afternoon, was it? Who who is it that calls the cut, Frank? It was this morning inspiring, inspiring with a Croatian heavyweight who caught his eye with his elbow. So um, you know, it, it's it, I can't tell you how gutted everybody is and. Mm. And, you know, and I f obviously feel for Tyson. I feel for Usyk because obviously he's been training hard for the fight. And I feel really feel for um, Turkey Alashik who, and uh, the, you know everybody at the, who works at the Riyadh season because this is an event that we all worked hard to make happen. And unfortunately, it's going to, as I say, it's going to be postponed now. Frank, con contractually now, is Usyk obviously is allowed to go and fight some of this fight is off. It's a great shame. Is there anything contractually that, that, that says he has to wait for Tyson or anything like that? I'm not even going there with that at the moment, Andy. This right. has all been quite a bit of a shock. And, okay. You know, it is what it is at the moment. Sure. Let's, I know, Andy, sorry, just to follow up. If Let's let's assume then, Frank, that, that if Usyk does fight someone else, he's then going to want a bit of a breather himself probably after another fight. So it's going to be... We are talking months, probably, before these two guys get back together. Well, look, it's all happened very soon and, and nothing's been decided or worked out as far as what's what either box is going to do right. um, at the moment. Um, all we want to focus on is Tyson um, obviously recovering from his eye injury and getting himself back into the game again because he was training contrary to all the nonsense that was going out on social media. He's been training very hard for this fight. And really working hard and looking good in the gym, and it's uh, it's as I say, it's very unfortunate. And um, we'll work out in the next uh, few days what's going to happen in the future. But I'm not going there all day. So. Okay, Frank. One of the things I saw on social media, which is why I'm asking you, that he had 15 stitches. Is that correct? I don't know what he's had yet. He he went to see the doctor in Saudi, at, in Riyadh, and uh, I I got to be honest, I I don't know how many stitches. Okay. Is it the but, same? But I, I have seen. No, it's on the other side. It's in his right, right. Hand so it's side. a brand new injury, right? It's a brand new injury. Yes. Frank, from your experience, how long do these these sort of things take? Look, let me tell you. The big one of the biggest fights in memory is the Rumble in the Jungle, right. and that got postponed because um, George Foreman got a terrible cut, and it got postponed for a period of time. And before he fought Muhammad Ali. And eventually it happened, and this is, we're in a similar situation. Okay. This is the biggest fight of this century, and it's it is exactly the same, really the same um, same thing that happened back there in Kinshasa, back in the seventies. If it were to be rescheduled, I know this is ifs, buts, and maybes, but again, another quote that was online, so I'm asking you to clear it up one way or the other, that this fight could possibly happen in June or July. I ain't even go there with a date until until a doctor says, you know. You know, Tyson's fit enough to box. No one can make that 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 uh, assumption. You've got to wait until uh, it's obviously till a professional uh, person says that when he'll be available to fight. It's a terrible cut that he's got at the moment. It's quite a bad cut, mm. and he's got to recover from that. And he certainly will not be going into a fight unless he's 100. percent Do you, Do you think this fight will happen? Of course I do. It's just what everybody signed up for. You know, it's a huge fight. As far, it's the biggest fight of this century. There's no doubt about that. It's the fight that everybody's wanted. And because of the Riyadh season and the, his excellency and so forth, and all his team, that's the, that's why it is happening. And nobody is going to try and in any way impair it or stop it from going on. It's unfortunate where we are, but we will 
make sure that it will that it will occur. That's that's the fight everybody wants to see. So it's um, as I say, it's unfortunate. And you got you look back to what happened in Kinshasa in those years ago in the seventies. We're in a similar position, mm. and that that fight went ahead. Mm. Um, and the same thing will happen when Tyson is ready and able to fight again. So a decision, Frank, isn't made. Obviously, on the back of by the time he's had this stitched up and a doctor sort of giving you advice, a decision this a decision now and when this fight potentially can happen will will rest very much when Tyson is ready to announce that and he's back in training. Look, you guys, you guys have been you guys have been in sport. You know, you've done it for a living. You've you know, I'm sure. I hope you haven't, but I'm sure you've had injuries in your past. Yeah, plenty in of your them. Sporting career. So until until you know that they're ready to go, you're not going to be ready to go. So no. that's where we are. And I'm not going to be putting any dates on it now. This is ridiculous to do so. Frank, let me ask it you this. Happen. Let me ask you another rumour that I've read, and you know, it's good that you're here so you can clear up this one way or the other, that apparently Usyk's people are looking potentially at Hergovic coming in to replace Fury on the same night. Have you heard anything well, of that? Well, we'll see what happens. I mean, this moment, everything is happening so fast. It's a... It's fast moving. I'm sure in the next next day or next couple of days, we'll see how it all pans out. Do you and, uh, do you think if you're a gambling man, do you think there will be a boxing match on that night, the 17th of Feb, or not? Well, I'm a gambling man, and uh, we will see what happens in the next couple of days. Okay, the fact that you haven't said no leads me to believe it could be a yes. <laughs> well, you can interpret that which any way you like. That's your choice. But let's. Um, it, it, no, this has been very fast moving. And this is a very a massive disappointment to everybody concerned, especially Tyson. And uh, all we can do now is to try and make the best of the situation. We'll see okay. what happens in the next few days. Before yeah. I let you go, just quickly, we were joined by another one of your fighters, Anthony Yard. He was with us in the studio about an hour ago ahead of his fight next weekend. We've got we've got well, a, a big British light heavyweight fight on TalkSport this weekend. Is Yard, in your opinion, the best British light heavyweight right now? Absolutely, and these two guys, whoever wins this fight, whether it's whether it's uh, Assis or whether it's uh, Buatsi, the winner of them, winner of that fight, should fight him. That's the fight everybody wants to see. The two guys on the first of June, the best two in the world at the moment, who are um, uh, Berbatev and Bivol, will be fighting. So in the meantime, let the, well, I believe the winner of the fight that takes place. Tomorrow and Anthony Yard up will the winner of that will be the second best best in the world. Let them fight each other and the winners can fight the winners of the fight the first of the June. Yeah, we'd like to see that. And finally, Frank, we come would on. want to see because it it's a big British fight. Yeah. So let's make it happen. Finally, no, no excuses, no ducking no. out from anybody. Anthony Yard is there. That I don't want. You know, if it's Buatsi saying I'm going to wait to down the road to fight the winner sometime at the end of this year. Yeah. Get it on. Let's get it on. Yeah. Stop all the nonsense and let's make the fight happen. And come on, give me a prediction. Arsenal, Liverpool. Oh, Jesus. I'll tell you what. Look, it's, <laughs> it, 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 do you know what? Do you know what? It's a killer for us because this is an eight. This makes, you know, we're five points behind. We could be eight points yeah. behind if we lose mm. it. Um, we've got to win it. And I've got to go. Obviously, I'm going to go with my team. That goes without saying. Yeah. It's going to be a tough game. This is all about character now. This is about how much we want it. We we had a terrible, terrible Christmas. We let all those all the advantage we had slip away. We now got to get back in the game. If we are real, real contenders, then this is a this is a fight, as I would say it, a match that we've got to win. There's no there's there's no yeah. doubt about it. We've got to get out there and we've got to impose ourselves and win it. Go on, what would the score be, Frank? I fancy us to win it. I think we let one in, but I think we can win this two or three one. Wow. Wow, three one. Okay. Uh, All right, four one. <laughs> I think there's more chance of Fury being ready on the seventeenth. Listen, Frank, I, I nice know everyone one, I know everyone wants a piece of you. Genuinely, all of us here at Talksport really appreciate you coming on so soon after that decision. Uh, sad news, but I hope everything works out and yeah. give our regards well, to look, Tyson it is and the game. Sad. It is sad. It's sad for boxing because it's a fight that everybody yeah. wants to see. Yeah. But you know what? They will see it eventually. We'll make it happen between all of us and we we, we we're actually we're in a good position. And I don't mean this sounding like a like brand nose or whatever, but the fact we've got the, you know, we've got the, uh, the situation going on in Saudi Arabia, it will make. Oh, Frank, you there? I'm here. Oh, yeah, I'm hey, God, there. You, you left us on a high there. It will make. What are you going to? How are you going to finish that sentence? 
now I say, it, you know, the fact that we're, you know, we're, we're working very hard with um, with His Excellency and his team, it will happen. Okay, great. And I'm going to get back to the, I'm, I'm in the ground, so I'm going to get back now and have a good drink and drown my sorrows. <laughs> yeah, you'll be drowning at the weekend. Frank, always a pleasure. Thanks <laughs> nice so much one, for your Frank. time. Thank you. God bless. There you go. How nice is Frank wanted to come on so soon yeah. after that news was announced? And the fact that when I said, could Hergovic replace Tyson Fury mm. in the fight goes ahead and he didn't poo poo it. No, he didn't. No. I'm like, mm, you just don't know. Talk Sport Drive. Super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.